In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform peripheral vascular access using ultrasound. This is useful for patients who have a history of IV drug abuse or have just had a lot of IV starts in the past or dialysis patients in whom peripheral IVs are not obtainable in a blind approach. An ultrasound becomes very helpful in this scenario. Starting at the end cubital fossa, the brachial vessels can be visualized. The veins are adjacent to the artery. The artery won't compress and will pulsate, whereas the veins will compress entirely. Sometimes the veins here are difficult to access or not visualized. If that's the case, the basilic vein can be accessed by rotating the arm out. By rotating the arm out and scanning proximally in the medial portion of the arm. This is another good access point for vascular access if another peripheral vein cannot be established. So once you've selected the location which you're going to perform the procedure, you need to gather the equipment. After sterilizing the arm, make sure that you have a longer angiocaf to be able to access deeper structures within the arm. There are differing opinions about whether the short axis versus long axis approach to peripheral access is better. I prefer the long axis approach, but there's nothing wrong with using the short axis approach. The short axis approach allows you to insert the needle and try to visualize the tip as the tip moves into the vessel. I'll demonstrate that here. I like to back the needle up a little bit from the insertion point about the amount of the depth that you anticipate hitting the vessel and take a 45 degree angle into the skin and push the needle toward the vessel. In the long axis approach, it allows for excellent visualization of the vessel itself and the needle as it approaches the vessel as can be seen here. This allows for, in this shot, the vein to be visualized in its longitudinal approach right on top of the artery. What this allows for is seeing that the needle will penetrate the vein but not go so deep as to hit the artery. The limitation here is that while you get great visualization of the needle and its approach, you have limited lateral vision on the needle. So if you were to move the needle slightly laterally one way or the other, there's no safety margin here. Either approach is satisfactory to gain peripheral vascular access and avoid central lines in patients who simply need to have a line but don't need central access.